Ali, hello. My name is Elsie Talay and I am the second place UNDP Climate Change Cartoon Contest winner for the Asia Pacific region. The cartoon I created for the UNDP is meant not only to showcase the effects of global warming on coral reefs in Palau, but also to highlight the difference between a healthy environment and an unhealthy one. When, I, when people look at the picture, I want them to see first the blue water with the colorful creatures swimming in it, the bottom half of the picture, which is the healthy one. When you look above at the top half, you see a gray city with cars spitting out smog. That's not an environment that we want for ourselves. Well, at first glance of the picture, you can easily tell the difference and see which is the good one and which is the bad one. So if we already know what we are doing wrong, why do we continue to do it? Personally, in my island, I see effects of climate change every day. Walking in the streets now is much hotter even, the, even when it was just two years ago. Fishing in our ocean is much harder because there is a much less diverse variety of fish. Just the other day, when I went to the Rock Islands, a cluster of limestone islands, which is a popular tourist attraction in Palau, I wanted to go snorkeling in the corals, which waited just off the shore. However, I was sorely disappointed to find that the corals were all gray and hard. They had already been bleached out and died. While the image I created is a pretty one, it is also a sad reality. Climate change affects not only those in big cities, but also us in the small islands as well. Now I've been saying the word we because I take full responsibility as being one of the people who has helped make this happen, just as everyone else on the earth has. However, there are people much smarter and more powerful than I who would do well to do their part as well. So while I call ordinary citizens such as myself to make small attempts such as stop littering and trying to recycle, I also call on leaders and urge them to spend the necessary money and make the necessary policies, no matter how unpopular, to keep our countries moving towards a better future. We must make hard decisions and hard choices now in order to help the generations that will come. There are many that will come after us, not just my generation. Because after all, we really do only have one planet to share. Thank you.